Hi there, so if you've been across any of the Concept2 related forums and websites and things over the past couple of days, there's a really good chance that you've seen a video about this. The Strength Erg from Concept2 is their new machine designed to, well, work your strength, build power and stuff. And my initial thought, and looking at some posts from other people, is that it's basically a much updated version of this, the Concept2 Dino. Okay, so this is the original strength machine that they released years ago that did really well. People used it for strength tests and things, but then it kind of fizzled away. And it seems that they brought it back to life, brought it up to date now with the Strength Erg. So the question is, what the similarities is it really just an updated version of this is it any good and should you buy it now i'm going to start off with it is it any good because to be honest i'm not one of the lucky ones that got early access to the machine so all i've done is watched videos on youtube to see what other people think of it and they seem to like it but you really have to look into whether it's going to be right for you before you drop the money on it so watch as many reviews as you can about it and think about how you're going to use it why you want it because i'll say now the reason that i have this machine isn't really to improve my rowing this I got so that I could uh, combine a leg press, a chest press, and also a seated row on one machine rather than having three separate machines. It is slightly flawed, which I'll get to in a minute, but that works for me and it just so happens that those three or two of those moves really help for my rowing and then the chest press is a good antagonistic move for all that pulling that I've been doing for rowing. So in terms of is it any good, you're going to have to watch some videos and make your mind up yourself. So next up, is the Strength Erg basically just an updated version of this, the Dino? Well, yes, but it's not a like for like update, right? So there's some huge differences and the biggest one being that this thing is huge, okay? Look at the length of it. In fact, if I come from here all the way to here I need a water break between those two moves it's so far to get from one end to the other but that's where the big difference lies and you can see I've got a seat here and I've got a seat on the other end as well which you don't have on the strength arc the strength arc is all built around one position and then you just have like a bit of a kind of adapter thing you have to slot in in order to do the third move because from here I get a chest press okay I also get a leg press and then on the other end this is where I get a seated row okay whoosh but this is where the next big difference comes here is that the seated row on this the dyno gives me this pad to brace against making it much like a seated row that you'd find on a cable machine in a gym whereas the strength arc doesn't have it now this is where it again comes down to how you want to use it if you're going to use the strength arc purely to improve your rowing then it's perfect okay because you're going to be sitting there in that rowing motion working on your pool as though you're on a rowing machine if like me you're using this as a proper strength exercise then it's useful to have this pad to brace against when it comes to doing that pull into that kind of seated row point of view. So again, that's down to whether you want uh, to use it in a specific way for rowing or to build up your overall strength. And so that brings me on to the one major flaw on both machines, something I've never liked about it, and that is the complete lack of eccentric movement, okay? What I mean is when you pull in the handle, this is your concentric, okay? So pulling in because your muscles are contracting, but then when you're lifting a, let's get one of these, if you're lifting a dumbbell, you get the concentric as you bring up, but you also get resistance on the eccentric as your muscle lengthens again, okay? So I get lift up, but I also get time under resistance here as I lower back down into position. And that lowering down into position is hugely important when it comes to adding strength okay if you read enough papers about this lots of people say actually the up is only like a third of the importance of your strength moving it's the down that really will give you that time under tension one second up two seconds down for any kind of strength move is the kind of gold dust for building muscle whereas on here i get my, my concept and pull in and then nothing and i basically just have to push it back into place and then I get the pull in again. Then I have to push it back into place again. And it's the same with the leg press, the same with chest presses. You only get that kind of pushing motion or the pulling motion. You don't then get the time under tension for the return, which I think is vital. Again, when it comes to rowing, you don't get it. So it doesn't really matter if you're using this particularly uh, to kind of flip into your rowing technique. But if you're using it as a strength machine for overall strength, I just think it could 
try and work out a way to get that kind of the both ends of the move. So let's move on to the last difference between the two of them. And this one is huge. Okay. It's, there's no uh, competition here at all. And that is the monitor. The strength erg has the PM5 based monitor, whereas this one has the old PM2 monitor. Okay. So it really just gives you data and that's it. Whereas the PM5 will connect to your phone. You'll be able to run the erg data app and that way it will then give you programming that you can use onto the app when it comes to actually using it. So it's almost like having a training plan here. Whereas here, I need to know what I'm about to do before I sit on this machine. And then I push and it tells me how many kilograms I'm pushing, etc., etc. The PM5 version on the Strength Erg is much better. Now it must be said that this thing is built, okay? This is, I'm not entirely sure how old this is because I bought it secondhand in the first place. But in the time that I've had it, the monitor's fallen off. I've got it strapped into place with an elastic band. Um, I've had to tape up the cable underneath because it's coming apart, but it's still does exactly the same job that it did the day it was built, albeit a little bit wobbly at the top when it comes to the monitor. And I'm sure that the strength erg is going to be exactly the same as Concept 2 after all. So these things are bulletproof or bombproof even. They will just go and go and go. So in terms of your choice of whether to buy this kind of thing from a will it last long enough, I can pretty much guarantee that Concept 2 have got your back on that, okay? It's going to be a machine that will last forever. Do you want to use it to improve your rowing? Yes, then it's really something that's worth looking into. The strength arc looks fantastic. Like I say, it's gonna help you with your leg press. It's gonna help you with your arm pull. It's gonna help you with your chest press in order to try and get that antagonistic muscle uh, movement going on. So it's a good choice if that's what you're looking for. But if you're looking for it to like, hey, I wanna add a little bit of strength work into my workouts, like gonna build some better muscle, maybe gonna uh, get into there, then maybe you wanna think about something else or at least looking at getting some dumbbells to add in some other moves onto what you're doing to make sure you do get the eccentric, the lengthening of your muscles after the power. Obviously, when we're talking about chest press, you are lengthening, but you get what I mean, okay? So um, the opposite move. So if you're pushing the force, you wanna make sure that you have some kind of force as you come in. It's like a, if you're doing a press up, okay? If you were doing a press up and then you press the top and then you fell to the ground again, press the top and fell to the ground, you know that you'd be able to do a lot more press ups, but you also know you're not gonna be getting quite as good a workout. And that's really where I say the fundamental flaw with these machines lie but that's nothing when it comes to the comparison between the Strength Erg and this because they both have that same issue, okay? So, will I be getting one of the Strength Ergs? Well, if they sent me one, of course, I'd welcome it into my gym. But I'm not entirely sure whether I'd buy one uh, as I've already got this. But I'm really interested to one day try and try it out just to try and see what it feels like because it does look fan. Fantastic. All right, so I hope that this kind of run through comparing the concept to Dino to the new Strength Erg was useful just in case you had the same thoughts as me. Remember, I've got lots of uh, technique videos and all that kind of stuff, app reviews and hundreds of row along workouts here on this channel. If you're interested in that kind of thing and uh, you want to watch it, please let me know what you think of this video or any of my other videos that are up here. And until I get a chance to invade your PC or phone again, please look after yourselves. Row well, be well. Well, bye-bye.